The rain was pouring down in torrents, drenching the city of Nurvale in a veil of melancholy. Detective Samuel Archer sat in his dimly lit office, the soft glow of his desk lamp casting long shadows across the worn wooden floor. His fingers danced across the keys of an antique typewriter, crafting his latest report on a mundane insurance fraud case. Just as he was about to finish the report, a knock echoed through the room, shattering the silence. Startled, Archer looked up to see his trusty secretary, Leela, standing in the doorway with a sealed envelope in her hand. Sorry to disturb you, Sam. Leela said, her voice carrying a sense of urgency. This just arrived, and it's addressed to you personally. No return address. Archer took the envelope and carefully examined it. The paper was of the finest quality, and the red wax seal bore an ornate design of a serpent eating its own tail. He broke the seal and withdrew a single sheet of parchment. The message was written in an elegant script that seemed to dance across the page. Detective Archer, you are needed. Meet me tonight, midnight. At the Red Rose Club, come alone, a matter of life and death. The Red Rose Club was known for its dimly lit ambience, smoky air, and a clientele that ranged from high society to the darkest underworld. Archer arrived at the club a few minutes before midnight. His trench coat pulled tight against the cold and a fedora low over his eyes. He slipped inside, past the jazz band playing sultry tunes, and found an empty corner booth. As the clock neared midnight, a figure emerged from the shadows and approached his table. It was a woman, dressed in a red dress that clung to her like a second skin, and her auburn hair cascaded down her back. She introduced herself as Vivian Sinclair. Detective Archer, I've heard of your reputation as the best in the business. I need your help. Archer leaned forward, intrigued. What's the problem, Miss Sinclair? She glanced around, as if worried about prying eyes. My father, a wealthy art collector, has received death threats. He won't go to the police, but he trusts you. He believes he's being targeted because of a mysterious artifact he recently acquired, known as the Crimson Cipher. Vivian's father, Benedict Sinclair, lived in a lavish mansion on the outskirts of Nurville. He invited Archer to see the artifact, which was stored in a heavily secured room in his home. The Crimson Cipher was a small, blood-red gemstone, intricately carved with ancient symbols and encased in a protective glass dome. Sinclair explained that it was rumored to hold the key to unimaginable wealth and power, but it came with a dark legend of curses and death. Now, he feared that someone would stop at nothing to obtain it. Archer took the case, promising to investigate the threats and protect Sinclair and the artifact. He had a gut feeling that this was more than a simple art heist. It was the beginning of a perilous journey into the heart of a cryptic enigma that would test his detective skills to the limit. As Archer delved deeper into the mystery, he discovered a web of secrets, betrayals, and hidden agendas. The list of potential suspects grew longer by the day, a rival collector, a mysterious scholar obsessed with the cipher's secrets, and even Vivian herself, whose motives were shrouded in ambiguity. The detective raced against time, piecing together clues that led him to the origins of the Crimson Cipher, a shadowy cult, and a series of cryptic documents that held the key to its true power. With danger lurking at every turn, Archer had to decipher the ancient symbols and solve the riddle of the gemstone to unravel the enigma and save his client. Thank you for watching our YouTube video. We appreciate your time and support. If you enjoyed the content, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. Your continued support motivates us to create more content for you. Stay tuned for more exciting videos in the future.